What do you say to Americans who are upset with you over the way you downplayed this crisis over the last couple of months? Uh, we have it very much under control in this country. The coronavirus is very much under control in the USA. It's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. Uh, March 4th, uh, we have a very small number of people in this country infected. March 10th, we're prepared. We're doing a great job with it. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. What do you well, say to Americans who believe that you got this wrong? And I do want them to stay calm. And we are doing a great job. If you look at those individual statements, they're all true. Stay calm. Uh, it will go away. You know it. You know it is going away, and it will go away. And we're going to have a great victory. And it's people like you and CNN that say things like that. That uh, it's why people just don't want to listen to CNN anymore. You could ask a normal question. The statements I made are: I want to keep the country calm. I don't want panic in the country. I could cause panic much better than even you. I could do much. I would make you look like a minor league player. But you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to have our country be calm and strong and fight and win. And it will go away. And it is incredible, the job that all of these people are doing, putting them all together, the job that they're doing. I am very proud of the job they're doing, that Mike Pence is doing, that the task force has done, that Honeywell and Procter and & Gamble and Mike and all of these people have done. I'm very proud. It's, it's almost a miracle, and it is, the way it's all come together. And instead of asking a nasty, snarky question like that, you should ask a real question. And other than that, I'm going to go to somebody else. Please, go ahead, please. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job. But first, I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com.